Guys, and welcome. My name is Aaron Cooper. Welcome back to another brand new video here today upon my channel, guys. Today, my friends, we're going to be jumping into even more Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And the seat is my friends. We're going to be jumping into some free for all real soon. Obviously, in case you guys went away, if you jump into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 right now throughout the Christmas period time, I don't know when you guys are going to see this video. Hopefully, this stuff is still going to be available to you. Uh, throughout the holiday challenge that they had for Black Ops 3, is where you can get your hands on 10 rare supply drops, a melee bribe and a weapon by guaranteed supply drop. And the seat is, it's pretty interesting to hear that the community, I think they had to win like a ridiculous amount of games over the Christmas period time. And I literally logged in today, as you guys have seen, and you can obviously redeem it. Like you can redeem them right now, even if you haven't been playing the game. So it's worth it. So if it says that you use the particular weapon you want to get your hands on, you've got the opportunity to. But I thought to myself, do you know what? It's 2018. And I want to try some different game modes. I want to I want to change things up a little bit. So I thought to myself, free for all is going to be the one. Like I want to try some free for all. And the seat is, I normally play gun game, TDM, and stuff like that, guys. But free for all, I want to do some free for all today. So hopefully, I'm not going to suck at this, guys. If I do, then I do really, really apologize. But it's going to be interesting. And it's nice as well to ha play a different Call of Duty game for a while because obviously I've been playing so much of World War II. And as much as I love World War II and it may do my head and sometimes, it's nice to jump back to an older Call of Duty game, especially something like Black Ops 3 because it was such a great game. Like, I love Black Ops 3. It's obviously double crypto keys as well. He's got like this particular free for alls on the uh, feature playlist. So you got like double crypto keys and stuff for it, so it's even better. Winner, winner, chicky, dinner. Let's do this. Let's try and find some enemies. Yo, bro. Nice. God, I miss using this weapon. The KM44 or the ARC-7 as it once was in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta. Some good times. And the camo as well. I used this... Uh, I made a video on the camo a little while ago. And I used it on the M8A7. And this camo is called Overgrowth. It's like the camo that they give you for logging in over the Halloween period. I think the camo is pretty cool. Like, I do like this camo. So let me know down below in the comment section. What do you think of the Overgrowth camo? Do you like it? Oh my days, I clicked the wrong button then. My bad, I literally clicked melee. Cause I thought like my buttons were on tactical or something. I was gonna try to jump up in the air, but I realized it was gonna melee. Come on Aaron, we can do this. Nice. Care okay, package, gonna drop in a Cerberus in the game. Cause some mischief. The best thing what I loved about Black Ops 3 though back in the day is that this game had some amazing score streaks. Like I love the score streaks in this game. And I'm hoping when Treyarch make their next game, whether it's Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 4 or a completely different Call of Duty game altogether, I'm hoping they're gonna have some monstrous score streaks because that's one thing Treyarch have always delivered year after year when they've made their Call of Duty titles. They've always got give us some proper like bad badass like score streaks. I think about Black Ops 2, we had like the stealth chopper and stuff, and it was so good. This game, we had the mothership, and obviously the raps and stuff. You know what I mean? Black Ops 1, we had some, we had like the chopper gunner and stuff, and the canine unit. You know what I mean? The dogs were, you know, dogs were the one back in the day. <laughs> nice, just gonna drop in a GI unit, why not, boys? Cerberus and a GI unit. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I got dropped there. Fair play, fair play. Right, my GI unit's in the game now. So they're all going to be focusing on my Cerberus and the GI unit because they're not going to know where, where to hit me from. But whilst they're doing that, I'm just going to be trying... Nice. I'm going to be trying to get around the map and just try to rack up a butt ton of kills. But what do you think like, down below in the comment section, guys? Are you happy with me switching up on different things, playing different game modes? Because obviously, it's nice to play the game modes I normally play, but I just fancied a little bit of change. You know what I mean? It's a new year. I want to play some new stuff. Some new different sorts of approaches with my videos. And for Cetas, you know, I want to try it. That's why I thought free for all. Thank you. You reckon I'd be good at free for all, but I think I proved that I can be. You know what I mean? We, got th we literally managed to smash the 6KD result for this game. We literally smashed it. There's no way in hell that those guys were going to get back then. Let me just 
drop that guy. Even suit my care package, which never even got the opportunity to see what, what it was, but oh well. Hopefully you guys out there all enjoyed some free for all on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If it is that you want me to play more game modes within Black Ops 3, or maybe you want me to jump back to an older Call of Duty game, like Call of Duty Ghosts, or Infinite Warfare, or even Modern Warfare 2 guys, let me know. Drop some comments down below in the comment section. We went 30 and 5, an overall of a 6 KD ratio result for the game. Have a great day, and I'll see you all again real soon.